<laughs> ready? Yep. All right, back here after game two of the MAC Baseball Championships. The Ryder coming away with the 10 to 7 win here with head coach Barry Davis. And coach, you scored five runs in the first inning. It's got to just kind of let the kind of let you relax a little bit after you get five spot in the first. Yeah, but that didn't last. Did it didn't it? last too long. You know, but uh, but it's nice to be able to get started. I think you know. I think it's when you play a tournament game, especially the first one. You know, you kind of get off to a good start. Um, you know, it, it was good to kind of get get that cleaned out. And uh, but once they came back, I think Mike settled in, and then the game started to become more of a, of a baseball game that we thought it might be. We didn't think it was going to be a you know a high scoring affair, but uh, you know, I thought we settled in pretty good. Talk about your starting pitcher, Mike Thomas. Obviously, you're the ace of your staff. Kind of the first couple innings trying to find his way, but they really shut Maris down for the middle part of the game and got you to a point where you could just use your closer for the right. last five outs. Well, I think one of the things was he had put a little pressure on himself coming out, you know. Pitcher of the year, yeah. and he's coming out. And he's an emotional kid, and I, and I think that once we got the runs and they started to make a little run, that we couldn't stop him. But once he settled in, you know, he started locating his changeup, and, and we played some defense behind him, and then we were able to get the three runs uh, to give us a little bit of a cushion, and, and he settled in and got us to Tyler. He did a great job. Offensively, Brandon Cotton and Nick Winowski, I mean, really had great games. The table setter at the top of your lineup, and they hit the two home runs. How important are those two guys in your lineup to? Have them going, have them on base, and score and run. Well, having your leadoff guy get on base really helps, uh, and he's been playing well, playing a lot of confidence. Uh, he feels good about what he's doing at the plate. I mean, laid a bunt down when they're yeah. playing up. I mean, he's doing things that that good players do. Uh, Nick had two big home runs for us, one to tie and one to kind of give us a cushion. And I thought Mason Hine had the big hit early in the game to give us yep. two runs, you know, uh, even though we kind of gave it back. But still, you know, all those runs count and they add up. <laughs> Talk about a little bit looking ahead to tomorrow. Uh, obviously, Kenesha, she had some trouble with them during the year up in Buffalo, but a whole different thing in neutral site. Second game you're both playing. Just talk about your, your opponent tomorrow in Kenesha. Well, they're very good. I mean, the number one seed, they've had a great season. Mike does a great job. Uh, we've had trouble with them in the face, but we've also played well against them in tournament play. So I think our guys feel good about it. You know, I mean, we certainly have no reason not to feel good. We're in a good position. Uh, we're going to battle them tomorrow. I'm sure they're going to come at us, and uh, they're not going to take us lightly because we're certainly not taking them lightly. They're very good. It should be a good game. Great, Barry. Congratulations tonight. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Dan.